kind and noble gent traveled through many impediment to endure such a fragile love. For she possessed what the venerable sires deemed the essence of life. This fever radiated by her consumes a man of mortal merit to a quest a thousand years strong. Leonard. Leonard Grimm. Sorry, Mrs. Torrance. No, no, you were at the best part. It's just that you're going to be late for work. Don't worry, we'll reopen tomorrow at 10 and you can continue your theatrics then. Now, if we could just find you a pretty girl for you to share your adventures with, you could make your own happy ending. You're pretty, Mrs. Torrance. Oh, I'm an old married librarian, but thank you very much. Now, you better get going. Goodbye, Mrs. Torrance. How many times have I told you? Call me Jeanette. A feast awaits, Sir Manfred, Lord of the Vonshire. I'm hungry too.
I locked the door and pressed my body tightly against it. The sounds of his feet coming closer and the loud barking of my name became unbearable. I screamed as he pounded on the door, as each and every fist gained more and more strength. The vibrations from the door sent waves through my entire body. Boom! 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 He was inside. It's after 10, Leonard. I was convinced you weren't coming. Is that for me? Happy birthday. You remembered. Oh, Leonard, this is too expensive. I couldn't... Well, you've made my day. I doubt if Ernie's present will be half as nice. Are you all right? I... I didn't sleep last night. Is reading Galliad keeping you up? It's a good one. I can't stop thinking about her. Well, Emmeline is a very compelling character. She's I've not all... a character. She's real. Well, you know, fiction can be really overwhelming at times. I mean, can we have to... Can you help me with this? A DVD? You want to watch that? Yes, please. Oh, Leonard, I will never figure you out. Come with me. You know, Ernie and I were talking about having you over for dinner sometime. Do you know how to work one of these? Well, it's really very easy. You put in the disc, and you take the remote. You see, these buttons are all that you'll need. Here's the play, and this... Well, she's pretty. Who is that? All right, all right, Leonard, I'm leaving. By the way, the time limit in here is an hour. who's watching this. Maybe nobody if they have their way, but my name is Lorraine Denneke. I'm certain by the time you watch this, something bad has already happened. <laughs> I wish you could understand why, but it doesn't matter anymore. No, I don't deserve this. Nobody does. This locket was my mother's when she was a little girl. She wore it her whole life until Daddy drove her away. I uh, started writing in my diary when I was 14. I had to. It's when he first started. It only stopped when I ran away. Only to start all over again when I met Jacob. He's the same monster. <laughs> they hate and they hurt me. Sorry, Leonard. I have to cut your time short today. I forgot this room has a reservation. 
let me get Danielle situated here and we'll meet back at the front desk to schedule a time so this won't happen again. Okay? It's so strange how the mind chooses to hold on to certain memories while others drift into obscurity. I desperately search for the happier ones, but I find myself questioning, did they ever happen at all? I wonder, can they ever be found? Go right ahead, Leonard. The room's available. He is such a weirdo. Well, he has been very peculiar since he brought that video of his. Video? Yes, he's been watching it here all week long. What is it? Not sure. It's some sort of home video of a woman. Relative, I hope. Well, he doesn't have anybody. No family, no friends. Only me, I suppose. Oh, come on. You really feel that way? The guy could be a rapist. Look, Leonard's harmless. It's just he's different. What I am concerned, though, is that that video is changing him. When I was a little girl, I used to get these cards from boys on Valentine's Day. <laughs> My father, he didn't like it. <laughs> I get called all these horrible names, names I won't even repeat. It wasn't much longer after that that he started calling me by my mother's name <laughs> when he held me down. God, I ran away from him. <laughs> As far as I could get, I didn't look back. When I found Jacob, I, I thought he would protect me. Instead, he became something far worse, threatening that if I ever left him, he would do much worse to me than my father ever did. <laughs> I haven't even seen 
sunlight in days. <laughs> I can only wonder what you must be thinking right now. God knows if there's even a you watching this. I can help you. I've longed an eternity for a brave soul to release me from this restraint. My heart cannot endure much more. I need you. There are two addresses in the back of my diary. The first one is where my father lives. The other is where Jacob has me. There is only one way to free me from them. Forever. I hear something. What's the matter, Leonard? This morning, a grisly murder was discovered in the 300 block of Elks Grove. Walter Kinsler, a prominent CEO for First Care Pharmaceuticals, was strangled to death in his home late last night. Authorities are asking if anyone can offer information to aid in their investigation to please contact the Elks Grove Police Department. You're late. What? I said you're late. You've been coming in like clockwork this whole week. I can't sleep anymore. It's that video that's doing it to you, isn't it? I picked these up for you. They'll help you sleep. Thank you. I have to go. No, you can't. The, the room is in use right now. But I need to. Look, Leonard, you know I like you. But you've got to stop this video thing. You're starting to worry the staff. I think it's time we put a stop to this. Look at is it a, oh, it's a break for your own good. But I have to see her! Leonard, I think you have to leave, right now. It, you just aren't well. You don't understand. I love her! Please go. Whoa. Leonard! What's going on here? He's being asked to leave. I have to see her! Whoa! Let me go! Nope, not today, don't. Go! Help me! Help me! Told you he was crazy. This just isn't like him. What's that? Aren't you going to look through it? I don't know. Well, here, give it to me then. It's nothing. It's just like, like a little girl's diary.
that's taking care of her man. Jacob, I'm gonna make you hurt, like Lorraine hurts. Did you see the news this morning? No, but Ernie told me about it. It's unbelievable. You know, that a murderer could be in Pine Grove. Murders happen every day. Yeah, but this was like an episode of Criminal Case. Christine, you know, please, like... I have to finish this by the end of the hour. All right, all right. No fun. Pine Grove. 
Oh, God, Leonard, what have you gotten yourself into? Hey, Jenna, what are you... Hand me the phone, please. <laughs> Protect our kingdom, Sir Man. I have one more journey upon me. Some questions, that's all. Just talk to him. No one's gonna get hurt, okay? She hates me! What are you doing, Leonard? Don't do it! Now, if we could just find you a pretty girl to share your adventures with, you could make your own happy ending. to unfold this afternoon in the Pine Grove murders. Suspect Leonard Grimm, a resident of Pine Grove, was shot and killed last night by police officers in attempt to evade arrest. No motive has been established yet, but neighbors describe Leonard as a very disturbed and secluded man. We will keep you updated as more information comes in. In related news, First Care Pharmaceuticals has announced this morning the complete takeover of their company's controlling stock to rival pharmaceutical giant Genesis Labs. Gen Labs had been attempting for some time to acquire First Care, but negotiations were unsuccessful. No doubt the current decision to sell was influenced by the fear of stocks plummeting from recent events. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. First Care had no choice but to accept our shit bottom offer. And it goes to say, our company has you to thank for it. Sometimes an archaic company requires more traditional persuasion to see it our way. I always knew Leonard would be perfect. <laughs>